Well, renewed criticism of the CIA as well as the Obama administration is coming out this week. Now, that's because both are dragging their feet on the impending release of a 6,000-page review of the U.S. torture program. The review was ordered back during the days when George W. Bush was still president and was finally completed last year. Six million documents were reviewed, and many of them indicated a single very disturbing truth, that torture tactics did not produce the intelligence that led American forces to Osama bin Laden. The report also reveals the fact that the Bush administration was intimately involved in the counterterrorism operations, although the findings suggest that the CIA lied on numerous occasions about its covert activities. And this information isn't even scratching the surface. But once again, lawmakers and the public are playing the waiting game, anticipating the day when the full-length report will come to light. So what's taking so long? To answer that, I'm joined by an investigative reporter with EmptyWheel.net, Marcy Wheeler. Marcy's latest article was um, featured in Salon, and it's called Why is, the Obama Why is Obama Withholding Secret Torture Report from Americans? Hi there. Um, so this is a 6,000-page report that is long sought after. What do we know about its content so far? I think the, the three important p points are, one, contrary to claims, torture did not lead to Osama bin Laden. Two, torture really didn't provide us much useful intelligence generally. And three, the last one, um, that CIA was misrepresenting what was going on to Congress, to the Department of Justice, and even to the White House. So, uh, you know, a lot of the claims, a lot of the claims that, um, say, DOJ approval were based on were, in fact, false. Um, and I think that's a really important point, not just for the torture program, but for CIA oversight generally. Now, Marcy, in my uh, beginning, I had talked about the fact that it is taking forever to release this report. What is taking it so long? Well, it, it was approved in December, and originally the CIA was supposed to um, kind of come back to the Senate Intelligence Committee on February 15th to, to complain or give any comp concerns it had about declassifying it. At precisely that time period, John Brennan was being confirmed to be director of CIA, and he didn't read it before the confirmation hearings. He just read the introductory volume. Um, he afterwards has been saying, well, I need to read it and I need to read it. Um, there are indications that CIA is going back to, wants to go back to the Senate Intelligence uh, Committee and say, you did it wrong. You shouldn't have followed the cables, the CIA's own documents uh, about what happened with torture. You should have instead interviewed the, the torturers and asked them what they thought. Um, and, and also the White House is conducting a review, uh, apparently. So basically, I think it's, it's stalling in the uh, review, particularly given to CIA, t uh, in which they're, you know, they're using it as an opportunity to dispute the findings. And as you had mentioned, the CIA is stalling it. And also, uh, people have said that the Obama administration is working to slow it down, or at least they're certainly not helping speed the process up more quickly. You contend in your salon piece that the White House is trying to protect itself rather than the CIA. How so? Well, People often forget that the torture program actually was based on presidential authorization. It goes back to September 2001 when George Bush signed what's called a finding, a, a memorandum of notification, authorizing the torture program. So um, for at least four months after we started torturing, there was no approval from DOJ. It was just the president's okay. Um, and that's when a lot of the illegal stuff went on. And I think that the Obama administration has actually gone out of their way to protect the evidence that the White House was actually behind the torture program. And it's clearly, this report is either going to show that the White House didn't know what they had ordered up with the torture program, or it's going to show that the White House um, actually directly authorized torture, which was illegal. And, and, you know, I think at the very least, I mean, he may be protecting Obama, uh, excuse me, he may be protecting Bush, but he also may be protecting the institution of the presidency and its ability to continue to authorize these covert but programs Marcy, with inadequate oversight. Should we really be all that surprised that the president isn't quick to have this report released? I mean, after all, this is making um, him talking about the previous administration's potential illegal activities shortly after his election. Right. I mean, you know, Obama came in and said, I'm going to end torture. But what he's not going to end is the authority of the president to order these covert operations. Torture 
is act, the authorization for torture is actually the same authorization that Obama it used and probably is still using for um, targeted killings for the drone program. So he doesn't want to lose that that authority to to engage in these covert operations with with inadequate oversight. Now, uh, back in 2009, President Obama talked about looking forward as opposed to looking backward. Let's play that. Obviously, we're going to be looking at past practices. Uh, and uh, I don't believe that anybody is above the law. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I also have a belief that we need to look forward as, low, as opposed to look, looking backwards. But Marcy, my question to you is, is it possible to look forward without examining what happened in the past? Well, you know, I think that's what Obama really wants to do. But eventually, the international community is going to look backward if we don't hear. And we're going to lose credibility in refusing to hold torturers accountable here. Um, is there any um, idea of what future consequences this release could have? You know, the Obama administration pretended or investigated um, some of the torturers. They investigated two of the deaths in, uh, due to torture. They investigated the cover-up of torture with the torture tape destruction. And they chose not to, to, um, to charge anyone. But again, I mean, one of the only cases where a CIA person has been charged um, in an assault case going back to Afghanistan in 2003, um, the DOJ wouldn't permit that person, a guy by the name of Dave Pissarro, to have all of the documents that show torture was approved from the president on down. There are so still, other, I mean, that's sort of what they're hiding. There are still a lot of questions. We're going to have to wait for this uh, document to come out, but who knows when that will be. Marcy Wheeler, investigative reporter at EmptyWheel.net. Thanks.